In this video, I'll show you how to create a nice room card in Home Assistant. In my dashboard, these room cards serve as links to subpages where I have controls for each smart device associated with that specific room. Before we start, you will need to install Button Card from Hacks. Link is in the video description. Start by creating a new card. Add a vertical stack card and a grid card. I set the columns to two and I turn off render as squares, then add button card. Next, we will add the elements we need. I add a name, an icon, and I add an entity. In this case, I use a temperature sensor. Then we just need to show this temperature by using show state true. With button card, we can add as many elements as we want. We can do this by specifying custom fields. In this example, I will add one called arrow. This will just display an icon. The code is a bit tricky, but you can find it in the video description. I use this cool website where we can easily browse icons that are available to us in Home Assistant. Then we can just copy paste the code into our card. Again, you can find this code snippet in the video description. Now we need to start styling the card. I'm adding CSS rules for the grid, the icon, IMG cell is the cell the icon is sitting inside, the name, the state, the card itself, and lastly the arrow that we added earlier. If you don't know CSS and CSS grids, it can be a bit tricky to understand how to lay out the elements like we want. But we can use this great tool that will take us some of the way. I add three columns and two rows. I then merge the first top and bottom cells. Then I do the same for the last cells. And we need to give each cell a name. This gives us some CSS code we can use to get started. Place the code into button card so we can start editing it to our needs. In button card, I is the icon, N is the name, and S is the state. You can see that we add two rows with the double quotation marks, then we just need to change the sizing of our grid. I copy the code from the website as a base and edit the first and last columns to 60px and 40px. From here it should be pretty straightforward to style the rest. I suggest you just copy my code and play around with it to suit your needs. You might want bigger font sizes or other colors. Like I mentioned before, the IMG cell is the box the icon is sitting inside. This makes it possible to add a rounded background to our icon. One of the important CSS rules is the justify self rule. This moves the text left, right, or center inside the grid cells. I also add some left padding to the name and state. This gives the icon a bit more space. For most of these elements, you can just copy-paste the CSS from the previous element and edit a few things. Like in previous videos, I use a website called colorhunt.co to find nice colors. Just copy-paste the hex code into the card editor. If you want to use the card as a link to a sub-page, you need to add tap action, like I show you here. And that's it! You've created a beautiful and minimalistic room card that you can use in your main Home Assistant dashboard. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll do my best to help. Thanks for watching.